Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is going to be an astrology horoscope kind of reading for Libra. Libra. So I originally was going to do um, the yin yang relationship check in and do these in pairs. And it is synchronicity. Thanks to one of my lovely viewers, and I've decided to do triangulation instead. So I've got the Syrian Star Seed Tarot here, and I've got the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. And I did clear and shuffle these. Oh, look at that. You're the Water Tiger. Um, I'm going to get them a little bit more, though. Especially because they've been sitting here for like an hour and a half while I was being tired. Come on, cards. This could actually be broken in a little bit more. Had those for a while. I guess I don't use them enough. I guess that's the card I'm ending with. Okay. Oh, that's supposed to be the present. Well, I guess that's the past. Because that's where I put it. The present. Somebody decided that it would be great to say in my ear right now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So that might be, um, future. The, uh, just a confirmation message to somebody. I am not religious. I don't subscribe to that dogma. Um, but if it's relevant to you, then have fun with that. Um... Sounded kind of rude, but that's that's not really how I meant that. It was just a side reference for somebody. I need a starting card. The moth coming in inverted. Mm, four four letters. A little bit of the uh, four of swords inverted. It's like waking up. Now the moth though, it's this Luna moth here. Attracted to the light. This is probably a male because of the long tails. Doesn't matter. Um Usually when I see an air card inverted, it tells me something's grounded. It's like a kite falling out of the sky. No strings attached. This is sort of like... I need to be more aware of... Am I just attracted to things that are shiny? Shiny? Um... There's also this aspect of Luna Moth. Some of the energy that I'm reading for this month or whenever, you know, the next, whatever time period we're dealing with here, it's usually around a month or so. We've got the Year of the Water Tiger just starting. We had a, a few retrogrades that go direct. We have all planets direct until like April, like a month and a half. And we had a new moon in Aquarius, I believe, which was pretty powerful right around the turn of the lunar new year, that water tiger energy. And then we have this full moon in Leo, I believe on the 16th, unless I'm very much mistaken. So we have this energy of, you know, 
needing to ground and not being so attached to the idea of some new shiny thing. This Libra energy. So we have air and we're starting out with air, but it's like needing to ground. Let's look at the past. Let's see what's going on here. Five of crystals. So five of pentacles inverted. Hopefully the battery won't die until I'm done. Is that... I don't know if that's all the way in focus. I think that's a little better. This was inverted though. Five of pentacles is like I'm feeling left out. My... I am not allowed to be in the crowd anymore. I'm an outcast. My stuff is broken. They knocked over my crystals and smashed them. Coming in inverted though, it's like I am no longer shut out from things. This is a shift or a pivot. It's like something is changing. This is it's giving me this idea of like I'm attracted to the light, but uh like I'm the shining lights, the 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 glitz, the glamour, and everything, but all the fancy people don't like me. And this is in the past. For some reason, this card's coming in inverted. It's like I've I've I managed to sort of. S be in that crowd. I like they tolerated me or something. But here it's like I'm It's like the message is coming away from the shiny stuff. But I almost feel like this moth inverted is trying to be this. But this is sort of like, I refuse to accept that I'm not allowed here. That's kind of weird. Let's look at the present. So we have the shadow inverted. So this is five and this is 15. This is the devil energy. Capricorn inverted. It's five of pentacles. Is that Capricorn also? No, it isn't. Traditionally Mercury in Taurus, but I've reassigned it Uranus energy. Of course, Uranus has been retrograde in Taurus, so it must have just gone direct. Uranus retrograding in Taurus. This is inverted. It's like it's looking forward towards Pluto retrograding in Capricorn again. It's like these big outer planets pulling and pushing the Libra. Like bal like going all the way in the pushing the scales down on one side and then pushing the scales down on the other. The grounding that's needed, it's like I have to go all the way into the shadow. This is interesting because I've got five here and I've got 15. Sometimes when cards are inverted, it's not this is the opposite. It's, it's happening internally. So I'm internally feeling outcast. I feel separate. I feel like I don't belong in this crowd, which is probably more accurate. It's like you might, you might be like the toast of your friends, but there's always this feeling of, you know, they're they're gonna break my toys. They're gonna turn on me for some reason. And there's this is a, something that's been going on. What's happening now is there seems to be addressing these this internal darkness. Now some people, ooh, 
moth inverted the internal darkness, but the moth is trying to head towards internal light. It's like if you go all the way through the shadow, you'll come out into some sort of light area again, like going into the inner earth. But what I'm thinking about is a yin yang. A piece of paper or something. Hold on. Not a good one. Where's one of the crappy pieces? I don't want to use watercolor paper. I need a cheaper these calendar pieces. Okay. Oh, that doesn't, that's going to be really s too much scrapey sounds. But... Yeah. So just pretend this whole area is filled in like real dark. Okay. So this is the shadow. This is this card. And the moth is tr is making this trip. It's like the Luna Moth is going into the darkness and is going to come out here in this light spot, which is what it's heading towards here. This is a like a close-up view of the Moth going through here into this spot. There's an internal journey. So what like what is your inner darkness? It's your fears and parts of yourself that you think other people won't like. It's criticisms. It's aspects of yourself that you reject. Battery is really upsetting me. I'm going to change the battery because I don't want to lose my flow. Okay. So the shadow is the rejection of the aspects of the self that you are like ashamed of or afraid of or not that are not integrated. I reject this part of me. Other people will reject me. And I'm in a place where I'm forced to face that shadow work and speak to the parts of myself that I've rejected. There's two people here in the paws of the Sphinx. Clear out the cobwebs from my personal closet. And Luna Moth, the, the the moon is illuminating secrets, fears. And we have something that's attracted to the light in the night, which is the darkness. So let's look at the future here. The ace of orbs. Look at this dolphin. It looks like it's going towards the moon. So we have a creature that has sonar. I can see in the dark. The Ace of Swords is that clarity of thought. This is giving me a little bit of Aquarian energy, like the Aquarian new moon. Um, like a new perspective, a new way of thinking about something by learning to see th into your own darkness. The Ace of Swords is like I'm I'm I've hit my inner truth. I've hit my personal truth by integrating my shadow. And notice even this dolphin that they've got here is dark and light together. It's integrated. So we have the lamb. This always reminds me of those um, God's eye things that we made in elementary schools, like two popsicle sticks in a different yarn and be wrapped around it. Um, lamb is also four letters. I always forget what this thing does, but it's it's like a. I can't 
can never remember what it says in the book for this. But I think it has to do with like openness. The energy that's coming in is earth energy. And for me, it's like because of these four directions, but also the four letters, it gives me like a kind of a four of pentacles. But the way that it's working is sort of standing in for the four of swords. And the four of pentacles is like knowing what to hold on to and knowing what to let go of. Traditionally, the sun in Capricorn, but I reassigned it Neptune energy, which has to do with the subconscious. So things that are relegated to the subconscious or things that I don't want to think about. That's that shadow again. The Capricorn energy is the devil energy. That's what this card is. The shadow is where the devil usually is. So it's, I've relegated my shadow to my subconscious and I've wanted to avoid it. I am innocent. I don't know anything about it. But here I can pick up, I can hit all the chakras if I'm opening myself to the, to all four elements and you can't really open yourself to earth and water and air and fire if you don't address your shadow. It's like always roiling beneath the surface. It's like one of the chakras is going to be blocked if those elements aren't cleared out. I notice that the moth is green and there's a lot of blue and green here as well. It's a lot to do with the heart chakra and the throat chakra. But what's coming in here repeatedly is earth energy. But one thing that pentacles energy does is health. Like I've worried myself sick and or something that I really want is not manifesting. And there's this idea that I need to be in my own truth. I need to honor the shadow aspects of myself instead of avoiding them. And once that truth is aligned and there's an integration, I have this sort of self-integrity. That's what it means to me. Integration and integrity are sort of the same thing. It's like I have my own integrity. I don't need approval from other people. I'm not going to, you know, go out of my way to try to be like other people to fit in with them. This lamb is giving me kind of Aries energy as well, which is sort of the kind of the missing element, although there's no r real water here except for this allusion to it on this card. I was like, my emotions are sort of hidden in the fabric of things. There's a little green here and here and there. Um, but a lot of it is, is like being in your head about the way that your world is sort of manifesting. Um, it, it really is. It's about getting in touch with the parts of yourself that you avoid. Like, oh, I hate, I hate myself in this way. Well, would you say that to a dear friend? Would you be like, oh, you suck so much? You, but no, but you would say it to yourself. So there's this, like in order for the scales to weigh things in a balanced way, you have to go into the shadow. And only then can you achieve this this balance of what's actually going on with yourself. All right, hopefully that makes sense. If you want to get a personal reading, let's try this a little bit in more. Why is that at all? Oh, so I was looking for paper. I was like, why is that all crooked now? What the frick? What in the actual frickity frack? Okay. So the list of readings that I offer and how much they cost is going to be in the description box. That could be. Um, underneath here. 
or you can see it on my WordPress page or you can download the PDF version there or you can email me for the text or PDF version uh, if you want to get a reading. If you found this helpful or useful or interesting in some way and you want to donate a couple bucks to help me keep up this content, it's PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, Cat the Minion. I have coloring books, dark poetry, merch, and prints, and actual art items here. I have a coupon code for Etsy, 3 star 17. You'll get 17% off a purchase of three or more items with that code. And then I have social media and, and stuff. So everything here is linked through my link tree, linktr.ee slash cat the minion. If you go to Etsy through my link tree, that coupon code should be in at the top of the page. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, check out my playlists tab and stay groovy and we'll see you later. Bye.